Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a classic, the X-Arcade Tank Stick. This thing has been around for a long time. Many years, if you just take a look at their website, you could tell they've been around a long time. But I, I was curious a while back, do they still exist? Because I used to own one of these many years ago and I tore it apart, put it into, like use the components for a different build. I kind of regret doing that, but I was like, man, I miss that thing. I, I want a new one. And I started looking into it and they had some holiday deals going on, uh, the, you know, little sales and all that. So I, I wound up grabbing one, but even this packaging is kind of old because uh, there's some differences with this compared to what they all got listed here. Like I know there's another button up here that I'm not even sure what it's for. Their phone number doesn't work anymore, that kind of thing. But yeah, built like a tank. My idea was, is I wanted to pair this thing up because it now has, uh, for some, some time now, they changed the board that's in it so it has uh, X input so it, it could just easily be used on a lot of things like the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you could use it on it before, but there's a little bit of a fuckery you had to do. It wasn't complicated, but you know, it, it, it's a lot easier now. It's just X input. Plug it in. It's like an, you know, recognized as like an Xbox controller type of thing. But I have a Raspberry Pi 4 here with a, uh, the CoinOps Legends 3 version 4 build on it that I think will pair nicely with this, but this could be used on PC, you know, tons of different devices. They sell adapters for like old school consoles, like the Wii, PlayStation 2, that kind of thing. But there's tons of adapters out there that you could use that take X input that will work with, you know, tons of different consoles. But let's go ahead and take this thing, you know, out of the box, take a look at it. This thing's a beast, man, endorsed by the pros. Look at all this. <laughs> Best new toy on the market, Wired. Game Pro, best universal joystick created. This is all old, packaging's old. So I was like, man, do these guys still exist? This thing is so huge, I had to kind of widen my uh, recording area here, but let's get some, I don't even, the hell is this thing? I don't even know what this is. If you know what this is, let me know. Maybe I'll figure it out at some point. We got the manual. I did already take a look at the manual. I haven't taken this thing out yet, but I did take a look at the manual and I was like, the manual's a little outdated as well but it kind of gets a lot of stuff covered that you need to know. But yeah, it can be a little complicated. I remember before, like you would have to plug in a keyboard to like this old ass connection. What is this, uh, PS2 uh, port? You'd have to connect like an old ass keyboard to this to program the stick and all that stuff. You still do all that, but with X input, you really don't need to. And then we got, <laughs> Some cables, what is this? Let's just get this thing out. It looks like they got it wrapped like a sandwich in here. Holy crap, this thing is heavy, dude. Oy. All right, let's, let's readjust, get this thing out. I'm like, I feel like I'm in a cave right now. I'm literally like, got my head inside this box. That's what she said. <laughs> so we've got, We've got a few ports here. So this one right here is going to be for our PC and it's going to, or like anything, just plug the USB in to the Pi or, or whatever and both controls should work. And then we'll get this out of the plastic wrap in a second. And then I believe, okay, this one is for the mouse or not the, it acts as a mouse, but the trackball. So this is for the trackball. Now, I have not measured this, but I want to see what the uh, width is. So from the uh, the widest point up front, it's almost 29 inches. And then from front to back, it's 13 inches. And about 5 inches high. So there you go, if you were curious. Now, we do have these uh, modes on the back. I believe mode 4 is just X input, and you're good to go. The others are programmable, where you could... You know, do whatever you need. Got some buttons on the back. Got that red button that I believe lights up that I, uh, honestly, I should have looked into it beforehand, but I'm not sure what this does. I'll figure that, figure that out shortly. There's underneath the feet and whatnot. Nice feeling trackball. Buttons feel like a really old, you know, arcade machine in the US, like in a liquor store, going and playing Street Fighter 2. And, and it seems like you got plenty of space for player one and player two. 
So that's nice. Now we do have, I know we have buttons on the side. Yeah, we got buttons on the side there. If you wanna play like pinball or something, um, or however it's mapped in X input, I'm not sure, but we will find out. You could always like in Raspberry Pi, you could always change things uh, if you need to. You could just program the buttons how you want. So that's a good thing. But let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get a monitor set up and get everything plugged in. We'll test it out. Okay, so we've got the uh, Pi 4 plugged into everything, the controller plugged into it, ready to go. First boot up, I'm on mode four, so X input, so everything should just work from what I understand with that build. Uh, I haven't messed with this build yet, this coin ops build for the Pi 4, but this is looking kind of sweet already. So I know we've got mostly arcade games and then some console games on this. I know this video is kind of turning into like, okay, we're looking at two different things here, but they go hand in hand, but let's find something and uh, check it out. So we got a bunch of different categories going up and down. Let's go to fight, the fight club category. All right. Oh, okay. Button on the, uh, the left side closest to the front is coin in. Oh, nice. I know they used to make like pedestals for this stick. I don't know if there's, let's see if everything's, no. Okay, it looks like a couple of the buttons are, are uh, not how I would want them or how you would expect them to be. There's that button back here. I wonder if that does, oh, there we go. RetroArch menu. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna have to mark, like make a little diagram. I've done this before. Make it a little diagram figuring out what each of these buttons is being recognized as, and then reprogram it the way I want to make sure that everything is working the way I want it to work. Very simple to do. But this is, uh, this is pretty cool. What else is on this build? How do we exit? Okay, coin in and uh, the start button. Uh. Okay, this is only a two button game, but uh, everything is responding well. No, damn it. Okay, let's see what else is on this build real quick. I'm digging this. Like, I, I know I've done these kind of projects, like actual projects. This was just like, hey, buying a tank stick and downloading a build and putting it on a Raspberry Pi, but uh, I got my own little arcade set up right here. That's awesome. Run and gun. Wonder Boy. Wait, that was beat em ups, old school. Eh, everything on here, old school. And then just all arcade. Akai Katana. I don't know if I'm familiar with that one. And I am running this on a Pi 4 8 gigabyte board, by the way. Yeah, I've never played this before. This is cool. All right, back to the menu. Oh, let's check and see. It's only one USB plugged in. Let's check and see if both sides work. There's so much on here. I believe there's over 700 games on this build and it's, it's like a 32 gig build, but I think it, it needs to go on a 64 gigabyte card to fit. Ah, Sunset Riders, love that game. Oh, both sides insert coins. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, the, the medium and high is swapped, but I, I could fix that. Have to change the, uh, the options. And it was, uh, yeah, that back button and then start to get into RetroArch, so. Awesome. Yeah, both sides work. This is awesome, dude. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I love this stick. This build seems really cool for the uh, coin ops for Pi 4. Definitely uh, gotta get back into these, you know, 
I don't, I don't know, these kind of projects, Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi, single board computers, arcade action. It's, it's really the stuff that I love. And that's kind of where my channel started from. So this kind of, this is, is, is bringing me back a little bit. It's bringing me back a little bit, which is, is pretty awesome. But I don't really have any complaints with this tank stick. The only thing, and I know other people have done this too, is I don't like these two buttons down here underneath the six main. Like, I feel like that's all I need, but they don't really bother me too much. But you could just plug them, pop them out and plug them. Simple as that if you don't want them there. But they don't really bother me. I'm sure I could find something that they would be useful for. But uh, yeah, really cool. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put links in the description for the uh, X Arcade site if you want to check them out. But yeah, appreciate you guys. Bye.